This is Calabash Community. Next, we head to the Babano Multipurpose Center, where Levin Spencer was celebrated. We have seen the greatness in Laverne. We have admired her achievements. Tonight we are giving back to a star. We are giving back to an individual who has made not only our community proud, but St. Lucia proud. Laverne, we welcome you back to your lovely home and one of the most beautiful parts of St. Lucia, which is Babano. <laughs> Babylonians are known for giving love. Am I not right, Babylonian people? And tonight, we bestow upon you all the accolades that is deserving of you. It is said, not when an individual is dead, but when he or she is alive. And we are giving it to you tonight. Once again, Sister Laverne, welcome. And we uh, put this ceremony in your honor. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. high jump is phenomenal in a world human population of 7.125 billion people with a capital B is indeed super a super achievement you have demonstrated to us that if you can find something important that you love and consistently with passion practice it over and over it will take you to great heights Practice makes perfect, I used to tell my students as a teacher. But practice seems only makes you better. There is no perfection. You only get better with practice. So take, I, take, I want everybody to take this page from you, and that is to practice and practice, practice and practice again to improve and become better. And Laverne consistently has represented St. Lucia for about 14 or 15 years with the Olympic Committee. And on every occasion she goes out, Laverne gets an A plus for St. Lucia. A plus in terms of her behavior, her deportment, her acceptance and conformity to the rules of the camp. And I know we have many young people here today. And it's, be, you know, and it's so nice that Laverne can do this for you because Laverne didn't just get here. Laverne is a disciplined individual. And I will tell you how disciplined she is. The St. Lucia Olympic Committee contributes to Laverne's development. In the last two or three years, we've been able to give us some money every month. And Laverne, among all the athletes, consistently reports and submits her financial statements on time, all the time. 
And so you're not just seeing an athlete, but you're seeing a young woman who manages her affairs and manages it very well. She's a complete person. And you know, over, over lunch two days ago, I was saying to her, Lavon, you need to take advantage of opportunities because opportunities do not always come by. And opportunities, because she lives overseas, opportunities for her to address young people are very rare down here. When she comes, it's touch and go. But when she gets those moments, I want her to be able to drill it in young people that it's not just about being luck lucky. It's about having the skills. It's about having the competence. It's about having the capability when the opportunity comes to nail it and say the right things all the time to the young people because that's what she is for all of us. She's a model. She's a gem. We will not see a Laverne Spencer come around for another four, five, six years, you know. It will take us time to build it. It took her 18 years to get there and she's still working on it because I believe that the best in Laverne is still yet to come. And she has what it takes. She has the commitment. She has the person, the personality. She's grown. She's articulate. And somebody was saying to me yesterday, boy, Laverne is doing very well. Laverne speaks. She prepares her own speech. Laverne stands up and prompts you and speak. This is what we want. A complete human being. Not just somebody who can jump the bar, but somebody who has skills for years to come. And she has been a model for us. And I think in terms of what we preach in our excellence and where we want our young people to go, this is the model. And I've been saying as president of the Olympic Committee for a long time, that Laverne is the model that we've chosen to help us shape our programs for our athletes in St. Lucia. If you cannot meet the standards that we set, you will not get the help that you're looking for. You must meet the standards. And our standard for now is Laverne, and she continues to set the tone and set the pace. And I trust that young people will come to her, ask her how she did it. She has a story to tell, and I hope she writes a book one day, because it's important that her story comes through in sport. Her longevity, her ability to stick to it, despite the challenges that she went through as a young person every step of the way. This year, she's realized tremendous success, and tremendous success perhaps still against some odds, but I think the results that you're seeing is the results of her hard work, the team around her, she's a believer in God, and I think that's another beautiful thing about Laverne. She has a faith in God, she believes in him, she puts him first, and it is reflected in everything that she does. And so we have a wonderful model in Laverne, and as president of the Olympic Committee, I challenge anyone, you understand, to tell us we've made a mistake. We've not made any mistake. Laverne is the title. Laverne is the person. Laverne is the model that we want our young people to be, to, to be like. And so if you want our support, be like Laverne. Discipline, focus, diligent, committed, stick it to the business because that's the only way you can achieve excellence. You must be persistent, you must be enduring, and that's what we see in Laverne, and that's what we will continue to celebrate and be a part of. On behalf of the Olympic Committee Laverne, we want to say congratulations to you again. And of course, on behalf of the government of St. Lucia, we want to thank you and thank your parents for having that wonderful being in you. Thank you so much.
Say thank you to Lavon's mom, Anne-Marie, for the role that she's played throughout the years. Give her a round of applause. She really set that foundation, you know, and we know a mother's love, a mother's support speaks volumes and it cannot be measured. To her siblings, you know, you also played a tremendous role in providing that encouragement, I'm sure. You know, um, as an athlete, you have your highs, you have your lows, there are times you just need to speak to somebody, you know, to encourage you and that support system is critical. Her church, you know, obviously her church has played a vital role in, 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 in her bringing as well. And last but not least, well, not last but not least, the community of Babonu. I think all of you all deserve a round of applause. You continue to stand by Lavon, and of course, I've had a pleasure of meeting her manager. I've been interacting with him, uh, Mr. Gregory Dixon. Of course, your continuous dedication and support. You know, I think you also deserve your kudos for that. You have played a vital role in molding Laverne into the outstanding, well-rounded individual that she is today. So on behalf of the management and staff of Flo, I want to say thank you for giving us such an outstanding brand ambassador. This relationship with Flo has spanned for the last 14 years. And um, we continue to play. Laverne epitomizes the values we consider important to become a well-rounded individual and also an ambassador. Over the years, I've watched, I've monitored, you know, I've observed, admired. And these are some of the values that I have noticed that Laverne has practiced and has contributed towards her overall success. From a very tender age, you saw that desire to succeed. Like um, her, one of her coaches said in his presentation, maybe she did not have the natural talent initially, but with practice and her desire to succeed and determination, look where it has gotten her thus far. Discipline, passion, perseverance, maturity, humility, and love of God, because all things are possible for Christ. But you know what's most important? You could have all of that. Having the right attitude. The honest truth is that the road to success is always under construction. And if you don't have the right attitude, you won't be able to accomplish these goals that you've set aside. So to Levin, Thank you for continuing to live those values and for continuously representing our brand flow with honor, pride, and dignity. You are daughter of our soil. I walked into many establishments and most of them did not say your name if they did not say his name. And that shows great reflection of who's standing behind you. And I like to say with all the sponsors we have and all the people that we have gathered here, it would not amount to the support this gentleman has given you throughout everything that you have done throughout that 18 years. Tonight here is just a symbol of our appreciation to you through him. And I like to tell you, Lavon, we love you, we appreciate you. This here is the beginning of many things to happen. As we all know, Babono is a cultivated community of many talents in song, in Africa, and in everything. And people will know Babono right in Africa. Yeah, people will know of Babono because we exist as a community who upholds ourselves different from many other communities within St. Lucia. And tonight, on behalf of the Babono Youth and Sports Council, in collaboration with Laverne Spencer's management team, we would like to say a big thank you. We will continue our tribute to Laverne Spencer, and when we do, we will hear from the Olympian herself. Please stay tuned. <laughs> 